Hey what's going on guys, Simonian here and today we're back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be showing off some new improvements to uh, the Chernobyl power plant. Um, we're, not, we're not just doing reactor 4 anymore, we're doing all zero nuclear reactors. We're trying to make a complete, um, <laughs> trying to make a replica of the uh, power plant in Minecraft. Uh, it's not going to be 100% accurate. Certainly making an attempt. Like for for example, we have our uh, cooling pond over here instead of cooling towers because cooling towers were uh, weren't implemented until uh, the uh, weren't going to be used until the uh, reactor five and six. But Chernobyl happened, so I think right here is going to be the. Uh, basically the control room I'm not really sure how that works yet right here we have our stair um right here we have our little uh, auxiliary cooling tower with a uh, chimney you know what works good enough it's not 100% accurate but not 100% accurate by any means but I'm trying to get it as close as possible <clears throat> I'm actually using a 3D rendered uh, diagram for it. It's not really a diagram. Uh, 3D model of it, so we can get the outside looking as accurate as possible. This is going to take a long time. Now these these reactors are a little closer together than I would like them to be, but we'll fix that uh, probably eventually. But yeah, all in all, it's turning out pretty nice. I uh, don't have anything going on up here yet. We have our little uh, little hallway here. I got, um, I messaged, um, not message. I made a post on the uh, Chernobyl uh, um, Reddit page asking for like uh, blueprints. Mind you, some of them are complicated, so it's not gonna be one hundred percent accurate. We're making, we're trying to make this as realistic as possible. Uh, for example, I've up, updated the, uh, I used concrete bricks before, when it's actually supposed to be steel for the containment vessel. Now, I haven't done anything special down here yet. I just moved the water tanks out of here, down here, so they're out of the way and stuff. And here is the uh, reactor 3, like, uh, cooling system and stuff like that. None of this is actually hooked up to anything yet. This is going to get uh, put in later on. Okay, well that's pretty much that. Very nice update on the Chernobyl project. Right here we're going to have our turbine hull, obviously. Now, uh, the, um, I do plan on actually raising these up a little, but I might not. It depends. I probably won't because the buildings, the buildings, it's going to be kind of complicated to like raise all this up and then do the wiring, the uh, piping and stuff again. Honestly, oh, I like it um, so far. We're probably going to have to get rid of that radio tower and um, this radio tower and this ra um, radar dish or whatever. I might leave it though because it just gives it a nice aesthetic. Now, there's nothing in these areas yet, obviously, because, like I said, I haven't really got to make these reactors yet. We're going to use obsidian bricks for the uh, walls instead of uh, the concrete bricks. So all in all, I think it's coming along pretty nicely. It's pretty nice. Now, all in all, um, I haven't figured out on how to make like a uh, something that looks like a power grid, so that sucks. But all in all, I just love the look of the front of this. I don't know if I want to change it to any like white or like light colored blocks though. So I'm still I'm still figuring that out. But all in all, this is our new Chernobyl. <laughs> it looks great, in my opinion. 
we'll just get a we'll just get a little screenshot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.